This is 611. And what we have here is a 4 millifarad capacitor, 4 milla. So that means that capacitance C is 0 0.004 farads. And we're assuming that the original voltage at time zero, the voltage at time zero is 10 volts. And we're supposed to sketch the voltage waveform. So the waveform. So I think what we need to remember is the voltage waveform is equal to one divided by the capacitance and we integrate from the initial time to another time i dt plus our voltage at time zero and we already know our voltage at time zero this is 10 volts and volts here and so this value here this value here is the area underneath this curve it represents the area underneath the curve so we need to use this to be able to solve for the voltage at time t and our capacitance here is 0 0.004 let's move down here and first just draw A, uh, and this will be our voltage here. And let's put, let's put 10. That's 10 volts. And we know that it starts at 10. So we know at zero seconds, and we'll put T in seconds here. We know it starts at 10. So at that point. Now, if we take this area here, let's find the area of this, and this is milliamps, so that is 0 0.015 times our two seconds. So that is equal to 0 0.035 so that is what this value comes out to be point, point zero 0.030 here and then we divide it by the point zero zero 0.004 so for this value we have point zero zero 0.003 divided by or I'm sorry point zero 0.03 point zero 0.03 divided by our point zero zero 0.004 which comes out to be point zero 0.03 divided by point zero zero 0.004 7.5 and then we add 10 to it 10 volts so that's 17.5 so our point at uh, at 2 is somewhere up here and that is 17.5 volts at this point here. Okay. Now, now what we do here is find this value. And that is 2 seconds times negative 10. So that's negative 20 divided, I'm sorry, this is milliamps, so that's negative 0, 0.02, and then we divide it by the point zero zero four. Negative point zero two divided by point zero zero four. That's negative five. 
So we add negative five to this value. So that is, comes out to be 12.5. So 12.5 there. So our waveform starts to look like this. And then from four to six, four to six, it is zero. It is zero, so that is just gonna look like a flat line, horizontal line there. Now lastly, we do this portion, which is going to be uh, 0 0.01 times two divided by this value, 0.004, And that is positive five, positive five, positive five, and we add that to 12.5. So that goes up to here, right here. And that is now at 17.5 17, 17 volts. So using the current graph, we can then graph the waveform for the voltage. And that is our answer to problem 611.